With a deck, like most things, details make up all the difference. So when you're choosing things like hardware, hangers, and flashing, it's a very important process. Now, here at the house, if we were using a ledger board, we'd wanna make sure we were sealing it with flashing to seal any penetrations into the house. But we did apply a self-adhesive butyl tape to all the joists to keep the moisture from soaking into them. To positively connect the post to our footings, we anchored a galvanized base plate to each footing and secured the post with galvanized structural screws. Half inch through bolts tied the 2x12 beams to the post, and then hurricane clips ensure that those joists stay in place on top of those beams. Now that's a lot of galvanized metal for this wood deck, and if we were using a ledger board, we'd have to use these galvanized hangers to support the joists at the home. But since we're using a beam to support the joist, we'll just tie everything together with these structural screws. And when we get to the stairs, the stringers will be tied to the post with adjustable stringer connectors. All of these positive metal connections are specifically engineered to withstand uplift so the deck is rock solid. Then later, when the deck boards start going on, we're gonna use three inch long stainless steel screws to secure them in place. Now it's important that your screws be IRC compliant and that they are compatible with pressure treated wood. We're using stainless steel, but epoxy coated screws could work too. Whatever you do, just choose good hardware that will last and your deck will too.